We're breaking news tonight about the deadly lion attack in South Africa. We've just gotten the first first-hand account of what exactly happened. Now, the attack we know occurred at a wildlife center where lions roam free, and tourists observed them from cars and other vehicles, from their own vehicles. Now, visitors are warned to keep their windows closed at all times. The victim, a 22-year-old American whose identity hasn't been released, was mauled by a lion that lunged through an open window of her vehicle. And as tonight, as I mentioned, the tour company she hired has just released to us an account of the attack. Gary Tuckman joins me now. So what are they saying? Well, I understand, as you mentioned, we're getting our first account about what happened in that car from someone who was there, the driver, in fact. There were two people in the vehicle. One of them was the 22-year-old American woman who died. The other was the owner of a tour company who had organized the victim's day at the Lion Park outside of Johannesburg. That owner is Pierre Potheater, who was the owner of Calabash Tours and was driving the vehicle at the time of the incident. According to the spokesperson for the company, who happens to be the wife of Mr. Potheater, her husband entered the lion enclosure with the windows up and not down. Now, the account makes a particular note of that because the statement says there have been reports the windows were down when entering the enclosure. But according to this account, they were not. They were closed. Well, if the windows were up, then obviously that raises the question, how did the lion get in the vehicle? Well, it does raise that question. When the two people pulled up to view a pride of lions, the vehicle stops. And at that point, Mr. Potheater says the American tourist rolled down her window to take pictures. It was then a lion attack through the open window. Mr. Potheater then says he fended off the lion, injuring his arm in the process, a serious injury. And according to the account, he saw his passenger bleeding profusely from the neck as the lion retreated. Mrs. Potheater says her husband not only hurt his arm, but also Anderson suffered a heart attack. So at, at that point, I mean, I guess they're both wounded. Was the driver able to, to help her at all? What happened? Well, according to the account, he tried his best to stop her bleeding with constant pressure to her neck and called for help. Mr. Potheater told his wife it felt like a long time for the ambulance to arrive. However, officials at the Lion Park say the ambulance did arrive in a timely fashion. This account goes on to say the woman passed away a short time after the ambulance arrived. And Anderson, the tour company says it is withholding her identity at the request mm -hmm. of her family. All right, Gary, appreciate that.